Hello beautiful people, welcome back to Amreal. Today's topic is coping with failure. Failure is not a destination and it is important for you to understand this. Sometimes things don't work out the way you would have wanted it to and it's okay to try again. Some years ago, between the ages of 10 and 12, I wanted to be a part of the performing arts group at my school, but there were certain requirements you had to fulfill in order to be a part of such. This group would go to the national arena annually to perform. They would compete against all the different schools in the country. So this was very important for me. The criterias were dancing, speech, and excellent communication. I knew very well I wasn't a great dancer, but my determination forced me to go to the audition. Let me tell you, my rhythm was completely off. It was that awkward moment when you know you look ridiculous. And I kept on dancing to the point where I could hear other kids snickering, you know? The teacher told me it was not working and I should sit on the line and observe, then go home and practice. For some reason, I didn't feel offended by it. I still thought I could do it based on the fact that when I look at the other children, it looked so easy. If you give up, the guarantee is it will never happen. Then it came to the section of the speech and introduction. After everyone auditioned, the teacher was not impressed and he was definitely not satisfied. So I asked, can I try? To which he said, sure. After I was finished, he applauded. He said that was awesome and it saved me. So I needed to go home and practice my dance because we are going to the national arena. Just imagine how I felt. Just in case you're wondering, my dance moves magically improved. I did all the speeches and intros and we won gold medals for all categories. Failure is the condiment that gives success its flavor. Sometimes the things we conclude as failures are actually stepping stones to get us to the next level. Whether it's an examination, interview, job, entrepreneurship, relationship, or whatever it may be. The best way to cope with failure is to remind yourself you can try again. Rule out the option of giving up. The first attempt is usually the hardest. So if you keep trying, it will definitely increase your chances to succeed. Another way to cope with failure is to block out discouragement and noise. Instead, you want to welcome hopefulness. Don't ever tell yourself it is not for you. Anything you want in life can be for you. There are other key elements to cope with failure. Let's start by accepting an appropriate level of responsibility. Have a talk with yourself to determine why things did not go as planned. Accept where you fell off and where greater efforts were required. You are not doing this to play the blame game or to beat on yourself, but rather to have a better outlook or insight for the future. The next thing you wanna do, you wanna allow yourself to go through the motion and be compassionate while doing so. It's obvious that if you fail at something you had hoped to succeed at, you will experience different emotions, whether it's being sad, angry, frustrated, miserable, feeling at fault, it's okay. Allow yourself to go through this process. It's very important to do so. The comeback is usually greater than the setback. After all this is said and done, it's important for you to know that you should learn from your failures. In the future, maintain what worked well and for what didn't, you wanna shift things around. View from different perspectives, then put into action. Failure is not final. You can try as many times as you need until you succeed. Thank you so much for tuning in. It was my pleasure sharing with you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Be a part of a positive change.